Overhead cranes can be found in almost any industrial facility and are particularly useful for manipulating heavy loads. A majority of these systems presently rely on joysticks, pendants, or similar devices for crane control. Payload swing resulting from use of these control methods can lead to difficulties with precise positioning. We propose a new human-centric approach to collaborative payload transport that leverages force feedback from an intelligent push-pull device to allow a human operator to move heavy payloads by simply pushing in the desired direction of travel. To implement our approach, we have designed an instrumented push-pull rod that measures forces applied along the crane's axes of motion. This system works as follows. Using their knowledge of the desired payload position, actual payload position, and the error between the two, the human operator uses the instrumented push-pull device to apply a force to the payload in the desired direction of travel. This force is read by the sensors in our device and communicated to the crane controller, which uses this information to generate an appropriate command for the bridge crane. The resulting command is then propagated through the bridge crane dynamics to produce a new payload position, and the process is repeated until the desired position is achieved. To gauge the performance of our novel approach, we conducted human subject studies to compare the performance of two control paradigms in a basic assembly task. In the first paradigm, subjects used a joystick to drive the crane and the push-pull device for fine positioning and orientation adjustments. However, the instrumentation in the push-pull device was disabled for these trials so that it performed as a simple push-pull rod, with no effect on the motion of the crane. This approach is widespread in industrial applications and serves as a good baseline to measure against. In the second paradigm, subjects use the instrumented push-pull device with our proposed human-centric control approach. The assembly task required subjects to insert the payload into an open-top box. Subjects were instructed to complete the task as quickly as possible by lifting the box, moving it to the correct position and orientation, and lowering it into place. It should be noted that for these two trials, the payload starts in different orientations. This starting orientation was left up to subject preference and varied from trial to trial, with subjects typically choosing to start from whatever orientation the payload happened to be hanging in. These trial to trial variations in starting orientation were equally present in both conditions. In this image and the following videos, the traditional approach is on the left, while our novel approach is on the right. Using the traditional control approach, the payload is lifted and positioned above the box quickly. However, in the lowering phase, the payload makes contact with the front of the box as a result of not being positioned correctly prior to lowering. Using our novel approach, the time taken to lift and position the payload is slightly longer, but the payload makes minimal contact with the box during the lowering phase. Looking at each trial side by side, we can see that the total time taken to complete the task is roughly the same for each approach. However, the amount of contact with the box is reduced when using our approach. This is reflected in the results for each subject. The mean time taken to complete the task was roughly the same, with no statistically significant difference between the two paradigms. However, the difference in the mean value of the integrated force, or impulse, for the two methods was found to be statistically significant, with the mean impulse for our method being roughly half that for the more traditional approach. From these results, we can conclude that this new human-centric approach has the potential to provide a marked improvement in manipulation performance during assembly tasks. This is achieved by reducing contact forces imparted on nearby objects without negatively impacting the time required to complete the task.